Hello everyone. In this video, we will create and use a bottom navigation view. Bottom navigation view. Width will be match parent and height will be wrap content. ID, I would say BNV underscore bottom. I will place this at the bottom of the constraint layout. So, bottom to bottom of parent. Now, we need few items for this bottom navigation view. So, right click on resource directory, new, Android resource directory, and select menu. Now right click on menu folder, and we will create a new menu resource file. I will name it bottom underscore tabs. I will display five tabs in our bottom navigation view. So I will create five menu items here. First item will be home. So ID will be tab underscore home. Title will be home. We will add the icon later. Now, copy and paste this item four more times. The second item will be chats, so ID will be tab underscore chats and title will be chats. Third item will be profile. Fourth item will be payments and fifth item will be logout. Now, I will create five image assets to display as icons for these items. Right click on Drawable, New, Image Asset. I will name it IC underscore Action Home. I will select the clip art. Once the icon is created, I will change the alpha from 0 0.8 to 1. For home, icon, I see in this correction home. Now for bottom navigation view, I will set menu. Menu, bottom underscore tabs. Now, I will create four more image assets, one for chats, one for profile, one for payments, and one for logout. Now if you observe carefully, we have icon for each item, but the title is not visible. So to fix this, set label visibility mode to labeled. Now here, we have a padding at the bottom. So first, I will set a text color to the item. Item text color, black. Then, I will set padding to zero. Even though I have set the padding to zero, the padding will not go away. This is because the navigation view will have an inset. We will simply reset the inset listener of the bottom navigation view to remove this bottom padding. PNV underscore bottom equals find view by ID r.id.pnv underscore bottom. PNV underscore bottom dot set on apply window insets listener now.
Here, we can set a different background color to the bottom navigation view. We can also set a different icon tint color using item icon tint. Now, whenever we select an item, we will display its title in a text view. And, once we select logout, we will close the app. Text view. Height and width will be wrap content. ID will be TV underscore BNV. I will place this text view at the center. So, top to top of, bottom to bottom of, left to left of, and right to right of will be parent. I will also set text size to 16, text style to bold, and text color to black. Now, I will create reference to this text view in the main activity. Text view TV underscore BNV. TV underscore BNV equals find view by ID, dot ID dot TV underscore BNV. Now, whenever I select an item, I need to update the text view. By default, I will set the selected item to home. So, BNV underscore bottom dot set selected item ID, dot ID dot tab underscore home. And for text view, TV underscore BNV dot set text, I need to set the title of the home tab. So, bnv underscore bottom dot get menu dot find item a dot id dot tab underscore home dot get title. So, I need to set an item selected listener to the bottom navigation view. bnv underscore bottom dot set on item selected listener. We can either use switch in case or use if and else. So, switch item dot get item id. Case. First ID is a dot ID dot tab underscore home. You can see the error here requires constant expression. So Android Studio has made the IDs non-constant now and as a result, we cannot use them in switch and case. We can overcome this by adding a specific line in Gradle properties file. Android.nonfinalRaiseIDS equals false. But I would prefer using if and else since we only have 5 items. So I will remove this line. If item dot get item ID equals a dot ID dot tab underscore home. Then TV underscore BNV dot set text item dot get title. Else copy the if part and change the item ID to a dot ID dot tab underscore chats. ID will be at dot ID dot tab underscore profile. ID will be at dot ID dot tab underscore payments. ID will be at dot ID dot tab underscore logout. Also, for logout, remove the set text part. Instead, I will use finish affinity. Okay, here ID should be at dot ID dot tab underscore home for find item. I use the ID of the navigation view instead. Here if you observe, the item indicator is locked on the first item itself. This is because we have set return to false instead of true. 